Hi, welcome to Derek Does. Today, we're doing this. Today, we're gonna to talk about the N1 Navy Deck Jacket. Uh, I actually have two of them. I have a reproduction from Buzz Rickton's. Uh, the hat is also a reproduction from Buzz, uh, but this is an original uh, N1 from World War II. Uh, and I'll show you uh, what to look for, just how great these jackets are. It's, it's a fantastic jacket for the winter, and we're just gonna kinda go into it, and uh, I'm gonna show you about the N1. If you've ever seen them, and you're like, what is that jacket? It's an N1. Uh, if you like this sort of content, please subscribe. Uh, again, Derek does, does a lot of vintage stuff. I do a lot of kind of guy stuff. I do industrial sewing. Um, and then, then when it warms up, I'll be doing more moped stuff. And I'll probably show you my Bronco and everything too. But let's get into the N1 jacket. So this is the N1 jacket. It's called a deck jacket. These first came out in 1943. Uh, for the U.S. Navy, of course, uh, as a way to keep sailors warm, keep the wind from hitting you. Um, but they didn't want, uh, they wanted like a two-part system where you could have pants and the jacket. So you didn't have to uh, wear like a big giant suit uh, to keep yourself warm. Uh, the jackets are just like, they're almost perfect uh, in the way they fit and the way they keep you warm. They're not bulky. They look great uh, as just a, you know, non-military. Uh, they look fantastic just to wear. This is an original uh, and I'll show you. First, the fabric uh, is what they call a jungle cloth, uh, which is kind of like a, it's a heavy canvas, but it's not like a hard canvas. It's more of like a corduroy, only without the little bumps. The jacket is lined with alpaca, which is what I consider probably the, one of the warmest fibers you can get. The nice thing is it's not like a shearling jacket where you would have to kill the animal to get the fur. They actually just shave it and then they uh, make a pile and then they can weave it into this. Uh, so uh, it's a humane, I guess, jacket in a way, more so than shearling. But it has a short collar with a... Uh, throat tab that you can put right there to make this really nice and tight. Um, you have a zipper front and then you also have uh, buttons uh, with a storm flap to really keep out that wind. And to really keep out the wind and, and the cold you also have a uh, waist strap that you can uh, tighten up to get around you so that the wind can't get up here. Here's the uh, original zipper. You can see it's a Talon. I think it's an M, was that an M42 or an M38? I don't, I'm not up on my zippers quite as much. Um, this one's got an issue where the very bottom of it has a split, so I have to be careful uh, or else that zipper will kind of come off, but it still zips up fine. Uh, you have two hand warmer pockets. I don't know if we can see here more in the light. So you can see. It's not like a pea coat where uh, pea coats have a corduroy lining on the inside of the pocket, or they do up until about, what's that, 1963? 62, I think, is when they stopped doing that. That's a nice way to judge. If you're, if you're in the Navy uh, military jackets, which I'm not that much into it, but I've had a few. Uh, a pea coat, uh, you'll look inside and it'll actually have a, a light colored corduroy uh, inside the pocket. Uh, they also have a uh, storm cuff on the inside, which is really nice. Also to help keep that wind from coming up on your sleeve. Now these jackets are completely lined with, um, here, I'll take it down here, completely lined with alpaca. So it's not like a jacket where it's just, um, where it's just lined here. You know, like a lot of jackets, they would just have a lining here and then the sleeves would be like a quilted. This, these actually have um, alpaca through the whole, the whole thing. Now the size tag you can see is actually, uh, says US, uh, or says just Navy Department contract, 
with the contract number uh, and the size of a 42. You can see this even has some wear here. The, it has just the right amount of dirt and grime on it, I think, to make it just look fantastic. Here, let me put it back on the hanger and I'll show you the back. So there you can see the back's real plain. Uh, sometimes if you find an original or you see pictures of original, they would actually have a stenciled whatever department or unit or whatever the Navy had them on there so that you could uh, see where they were from um, without having to ask them. I'll show you the front again. And then I'll show you the buzz. So I'll show you the differences between an original and a reproduction. And of course, they all have USN on them. Now, apparently they made a dark navy version uh, for just the very beginning when they started making these jackets. Uh, and those are like pretty rare, but the reproductions make a lot of them. Uh, and then later they were always this khaki, greenish, dullish khaki color. Uh, but this is the original. Now I'll show you the Buzz. So this is the Buzz Rickson. Uh, they make a fantastic uh, reproduction, really for pretty much everything they make is really great. Uh, but you can see there's, there's a lot of, not a lot of differences, but there's differences between the original and this. One is the alpaca. Uh, it's similar. It is alpaca. So I know there are some reproductions that just use wool. Wool's not right. It needs to be alpaca. Uh, and this is close, it's like the same, pretty much the same color. I think the original was a little darker. It's more of that, kind of that reddish. This is more grayish. Um, but the, obviously the, the fabric itself is great. They have the, uh, that. They've got this, but then it also has, there we'll open that up. You can see it's got the buzz tag on it to show it's a buzz has the same, but let me pull those out. It's got the storm flap on the inside, and I'm sure the wool material for those are exactly what it should be. It has the same uh, waist straw, and they also have a nice uh, reproduction talon zipper. Actually, no, it's not talon. It's a chromatic, or conomac zipper on it. Hmm, never noticed that. Uh, now the tag, you see, they didn't go by 42, 44, 40, 38. They just go by size as like extra large, large. When I first bought this, I bought this on Ratutin, is that what it's called? It's the Japanese um, site where you can buy stuff and then they can ship it. I bought a large and they sent it to me from Japan. It was a little too small. So <laughs> I bought then an extra large. Now, see, that's the trouble when you buy from Japan. You, you have to pay shipping and everything and it takes forever. Uh, but eventually it did come and the lar extra large fit more like a 44 and a large is more like a 42 in that range. I was able then to throw that large up on eBay uh, and sell it. So I got like all my money back and then uh, you get points when you buy stuff from Rakuten, and I can never say it correctly. Uh, and I got actually enough points by buying both these jackets to get the free hat. <laughs> so I got the navy hat that matches that. Uh, so as you can see, the the original fits me great. Uh, and I, I love just the, the wear on it, because I like clothes that have a bit of, um, a bit of wear and tear to them. Uh, but this is the buzz. And then that's the original. Pull that around. Now there's a lot of manufacturers that reproduce these. Yeah, let's get that up there. Um, obviously Buzz, but Buzz is kind of kind of expensive now. I think when I bought this one, it was, I don't know, I, I wanna say like close to 300, maybe a little less, but now I think they're like 500. Uh, they've really gone up. Uh, I don't know, it's just how it is, I guess. So in a nutshell, that is the N1 deck jacket from the US Navy. Uh, they used this jacket from 43, uh, I've read all the way up until the 60s, basically. 
uh, when the uh, A2 came out. Not the A2 flight jacket, but the A2 deck jacket. Back in the day, you could go to an Army Surplus store uh, and actually just pick up stuff like this, just, and you can wear it. It was like amazing, but of course today you can't do that. You have to go to eBay or estate sales or something like that to find this stuff because you just can't find it anymore. Uh, but again, this is the original. This is the Buzz. Uh, I have both. Oh, there's also uh, vents here under the armpit. Uh, and I think this one probably has them too, I'm not sure. Yeah, they're the same. So that if you do get that burst of wind, it pushes it out. This is uh, the N1 jacket. Uh, if, again, if you like this sort of content, uh, please subscribe, uh, comment. Again, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff like this of just, I'm just gonna go through kind of my stuff that I have and, or have had and kind of show you because I've been doing this for a while and I've, I've actually picked up a lot of stuff over the years that may be of interest to you. Uh, maybe it is, because uh, if it's interest, if you're watching, if you got this far, you're still interested. <clears throat> So I'm going to see you next time uh, before I lose my voice. Uh, I'll see you next time and I'll have something else for you. Really cool. So uh, I'll see you then.